everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very exciting wear test demo first impression on the new Charlotte Tilbury a beautiful skin foundation. I saw this kind of floating around TikTok, but also while I was browsing the just arrived section on Sephora, and I haven't done like a foundation wear test, well, since my She Glam video like a few months ago, but it feels like it's been forever, and I've actually been wanting to dabble into more medium coverage foundations. Now, I will say right off the bat, this does not seem like a foundation I would ordinarily go for because it does target normal to dry skin, and I have oily skin. However, it is a winter. I'm not sweating all that much. I'm not out and about all that much but i have read a couple of reviews on sephora from oily skin people as well and they've said that this foundation works for them i literally just went to sephora this morning to pick it up and they were definitely not stocked of every single color obviously it's brand new online i think it's all sold out or most of the shades are sold out so this is a very like highly in demand product i am lucky that they had one of the shades that i thought would be a good color match for me when i was kind of swatching on my hand and that is five neutral so yeah without further ado if you guys want to see me just dive in and do a wear test i will be wearing this all day it is currently noon but i plan to have this on till like eight nine ten at night because i am going to my parents house to watch the laker game later tonight so i will be out and about if you guys want to come along and see me try on this foundation for the very first time don't forget to please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you know when i post and without further ado let's go ahead and get on into it got my starbucks weekend treat i also just got my brows done so if my eye area is a little bit red that is why but anyway let's go ahead and dive on in if you guys are new to my wear tests or demos i will link a couple of like first impression wear test reviews as well if you want to check out other things that i've reviewed but basically i apply all of my makeup like i would i do use a powder i do use a setting spray but i don't use things that are like gonna super like elongate my makeup i use kind of like pore smoothing stuff, things that I would just normally wear out and about without really like trying to prolong my makeup so I can test this foundation. But to me, I don't see the value in testing the foundation without doing all those steps because when I do do my makeup, those are all my controls. Like I always apply all of those steps when I wear a foundation like this. So yeah, let's go ahead and just kind of dive into the claim. So first of all, this is a very expensive foundation. It's Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it's not like Armani expensive. It's not like super, it's very high end. I would say Charlotte Tilbury is kind of around the same price point as like Hourglass. It's like a step above like Urban Decay, Too Faced, Tarte, you know, Anastasia, like those like high end um, products. Now, I don't think I've actually owned a Charlotte Tilbury product before. I've wanted to try her pressed powder. There are so many other things that she's known for, the Hollywood Flawless Filter, Pillow Talk Lip Liner, so many products that are like staple, iconic products in the beauty industry. But for some reason, I was just really excited to try this. It was brand new. I was like, let's do a wear test. Let's test it out for the channel. Why not? Um, and right off the bat, kind of going full circle. This is 40, how much was this? Hold on, let me just consult the receipt really quickly. This was $44, and if you live in California, $48.18. This is what the Unicarton looks like. You do get one fluid ounce of product, which is pretty standard for a foundation. Um, again, this is called the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation for your best healthy looking skin every day. Skin looks more radiant by up to 285%, long lasting pollution defense, and they say science and color combined. So very exciting um medium coverage lightest air foundation with hydrating hyaluronic acid brightening rose complex skin looks more beautiful instantly and over time healthy glow um brighter smoother looking complexion so i'm going to read you the claims right here undetectable coverage improves the look of skin with each wear i'm wondering if that's because of the skincare like science claim clinically proven results Boost hydration up to 166%. Skin looks plumper and smoother by up to 181%. Skin tone looks more even up to 210%. So I don't know how true those claims are. We'll see. Again, I don't have a problem with um, hydration. I have oily skin, so my skin, I don't struggle with dryness really. Minimizes the appearance of pores, reduces the appearance of pigmentation and dark spots. That's what I need. And skin appears instantly brighter. Okay, interesting. So this is what the packaging looks like i actually personally really enjoy this packaging it reminds me of the Too faced like peach perfect foundation or the it cosmetics you know kind of cc cream or the thrive cosmetics cc cream like i just kind of like this kind of package and the elf camo cc cream and you know what these three are actually like cc cream so i wonder if they did this to kind of speak to the more like it sounds so weird to say this but not like as serious like glass bottle pump like 
full meal dough foundation because this is definitely more travel friendly. It's more like two in one. It kind of gives off the, the look and feel of that. I don't know if that's just me in my head and I'm crazy, but let me know if you um, agree. I already have sunscreen on from when I did my morning skincare a couple um, hours ago, so I'm not going to go in with primer again. And we are just going to apply this with a brush. Now, normally for medium coverage foundations, I do prefer applying my foundation with a brush because I, that's embarrassing my bra straps because I do get more coverage out of the product so I'm just gonna take my morphe m439 I usually only ever do two pumps of foundation so I'm just going to take two pumps of the Charlotte Tilbury one two okay we'll just do like two in a little bit that actually seems like a pretty good color match this consistency is really nice it reminds me of the consistency of the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation one of my all-time favorites and as you can see, my skin right now doing a really quick check-in. I obviously have a few breakouts right here. I have one on my cheek um, and a couple of like mask knee related things, I would say. So we'll see if this can cover it up like it says. So I'm just gonna do one, two. I just kind of like to place it all over my face first. And again, this is the shade five medium or five neutral. Her shade range is like online. You can see what each number corresponds to. But honestly, online, I thought it would be a seven because it was like medium with neutral. But in store, when I went in person, that was way too dark for me. So just take that with a grain of salt. And you can see this is actually, oh my God, like a perfect color match. Oh my God, this is a perfect color match. This is why you go in store sometimes, people, because you can't just rely on your prior knowledge. Nine times out of 10, it works, because you're like, oh, my medium with this, but sometimes each brand, depending on the brand, it they kind of skew it a little bit, so. Okay, the scent, what does it smell like? It's not super heavily fragranced. I wanna say there's like a faint hint of rose. It smells like expensive makeup. I don't know how to explain it, but it's not, super duper fragrant it's not going to like give you a headache at least for me i don't know if maybe you're more sensitive to scents but i'm just going to blend this in and one thing i'm noticing right away this is a product that um with a brush you're gonna have to yes you can like kind of swipe it to cover your skin but you're going to want to pat it immediately on top so you don't see those brush strokes i am aware i am somebody who does not like to do a lot of foundation i prefer to spot conceal if you watch my channel just because i don't like a super heavy look Unless I want a really full coverage, like long lasting thing, then I'll do maybe three, maybe four pumps, rarely ever four pumps, maybe three pumps for a medium foundation. But right away, okay, upon instant application, I do look pretty glowy. I feel pretty tacky. Like you can kind of feel that this is definitely not a matte foundation, which obviously it's not supposed to be. But I do think I am getting pretty good coverage. Now you can obviously see the dew on my face. This is something I definitely would have to set down. And this is not by any means a foundation I would necessarily wear out if I want like a full coverage glam look, unless I do three to four pumps. But two pumps with this is a great daily thing. I'll have to see how it wears because some people have said online that it looks great upon application, but when you wear it throughout the day, um, it kind of breaks down. But we will see. Like I said, I don't have any primer on underneath besides the sunscreen that I applied earlier on this morning. So I don't have like a pore filling or makeup extending primer on underneath this is just kind of apply on top of moisturizer so yeah but the application like this definitely feels more of like a tacky dewy foundation even the consistency when you're blending it out on your skin but what do you guys i'll get closer to my camera i just have um two lights right here like barely bright and then i have like natural light coming in through right here and then a little bit right there so you guys can see this is one layer I like the glow on my face. I just know it's gonna slip and slide around. And when I touch it, it does feel a little bit tacky. Not too much, but I can tell as my oils start to peek in throughout the day, it's gonna be a hot mess if I don't set it, which I always would even if I'm wearing a matte foundation. But right off the bat, like I think this is great. It's funny because I kind of ignored this direction application. Blend outwards from the center of your face for natural looking coverage. Um, that's not necessarily how I blend out foundation. As you guys saw, I just kind of do one, two, three, and then just kind of blend it all over. But I'm really liking this glow so far. And like I said, for an everyday kind of casual foundation, I think this could be really good if it proves to wear a decent amount of time. So I am going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. I am pleased right now. What do you guys think? This is one layer, two pumps only, no primer underneath. Leave me your thoughts down below. I love the glow, but again, we're gonna set it. So I will be right back.
All right, everyone, I am back. Makeup is on. I just kind of like played a little bit with um, a few random products today. I will run you guys through really quickly everything that I use on my face and on my eyes, but I wanted to just come back on camera after I've applied all of my makeup before I set it down with setting spray. We're not going in with something too crazy or intense today. I'm just doing the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist like I do pretty much every single day. And this isn't like a super like makeup gripping, makeup prolonging setting mist. It's really just a makeup finisher in my opinion. Like it just allows all of your products to kind of like sink into your skin. So this is what it looks like after. All of my makeup applied really smoothly on top of the foundation. I did not notice any skipping or anything like that. So I am really, really loving this so far. I did obviously go in with concealer. But before we go into the products, let's go ahead and just do a quick, that's literally all I'm gonna do today because like I said, I don't want to apply too, too much stuff on top of the product to see how it wears. Um, but yeah, really quickly, let's just run you through everything that I applied on top of the foundation. So of course I went in with concealer. I used the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealers today in the shade um, Light 50W and Medium 105N. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh line is known to be more of like a medium, light, natural kind of coverage line. Great for dry skin, so I use those concealers to highlight and spot conceal. Um, for powder, I went in with my Ofra banana brightening under eye powder just to set in my t-zone and to highlight and then for powder all over my face with a velour puff i just went in with the kosas comfy cloud set powder i spoke about this in my yearly favorites video which i will link above and below and this is a powder that isn't like super mattifying um it's just really going to just set down your skin it's a really nice baked formula and it's just going to make your face look really smooth blush i just used my essence satin touch oh where is it my essence satin touch blush in the shade Satin Love, and then highlighter, I actually used a few different things because I was kind of doing a light layer of each. So I actually went in with the H&M Highlight Sunlit Gold, Models Own Sculpt and Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Sand, and a touch of the Catrice Icy Glaze 3D Glow Highlighter. All of these are amazing, affordable finds. And actually, I don't know if any of them are still being sold. I don't know, because these lines tend to kind of like do a lot of turnover on their products, unfortunately. For brows, I used my, where to go? The LA Girl um, Espresso Shady Sun Brow Pencil and then the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara on top. And then for eyes, I actually went in with the Dream Street Palette by Kathleen Lights. This came out like almost five years ago at this point. Super pretty colors. They're still so buttery, very pigmented, very easy to work with like most ColourPop shadows. I just used Shooting Star in the crease. Um, a little bit of magical in the crease and then this shade called stardust it's really nice like shimmer all over the eye i kind of wanted to match this copper accent on my shirt oddly enough and then i was like why not let's just play a little bit more with color so i went in with this teal called water bear such a pretty teal very pigmented but very easy to blend and work with so i love that i kind of just use that in my crease as you can see and then on my lower lash line i didn't want to do too much of it so i kept going on top of that with this shade and then this random natasha denona um color right here and then on my um upper lash line i just used uh this shade called elfish as well as the nyx um single shadow in the shade raven and mascara I obviously used my essence lash primer a little bit of the tardis mascara but predominantly the essence i heart extreme mascara i just wanted like a nice bold lash look today and my lashes have been giving because of my granite lash md serum and then lips, I went in with the Ace Beauty Lip Liner in the shade B Peachy, just a really nice kind of peachy nude. And also this lipstick, which I've had for several years, this is a really old collab um, with Desi and Katie and Dose of Colors. This is their lipstick in more creamer, please. But I love this color. It's such a beautiful brown nude that just kind of works with this look. You know, it just kind of ties everything together. So that is my very basic kind of like fun, like, esque smoky eye that I did today. I think all in all, if I get closer to you, my makeup looks pretty good. I am loving it so far. I will kind of actually, let me just come and give you like a nice little close up. So here we are closer. I'm literally like standing. Here's my setup. Hello. Here's where the magic happens. Um, but here we are like literally directly in front of my window. You can see everything just complete natural light. So this is what my face looks like. Please ignore my hair. I did not brush it. But you can see I obviously have my pimples right here, still kind of out and about. But other than that, like, I think my face makeup looks pretty smooth. It looks evened out. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the demo portion. I would say I really enjoyed this foundation so far. Obviously, it was dewier than I'm used to because I am more used to using, like, a matte foundation. But we will go ahead and start the wear test. What time is it right now? It's, like, 12. It's, like, 12-something, almost 1. And I will do random check-ins throughout the day. I have to run a couple errands, 
go to my dad's house for dinner. Like, I will just take you along with me. So, yeah, but right now, this is what it looks like right now. You can see I'm not shining because I did set down my makeup, but I am not going to touch up throughout the day so you can really see how it wore at the very end. So, I will see you guys in a little bit. Guys, look at the sale. Oh my god. Two hours later. Hey everybody, it's me. We're about two hours into the day and I need to take you through what just happened. Okay, so I went to Target. Obviously, you just saw the exterior B-roll. Um, I was literally planning on going in to get three things. Contact solution, pimple patches, and a book. Now, of course, they say when you go to Target, Target tells you what you actually need. This whole basket right here, let's see if this light will show. I was not expecting to get as much as I did. I walked into the beauty section and I was like, oh my gosh, like I saw so many yellow clearance things. And I'm talking about $10 foundations being $2. So many clearance things on Milani, Wet n Wild, Elf, like literally every brand. I was shocked. I dove in, you know, head first, spent almost $150. But it felt so good to just go into a store and just pick up stuff. And, you know, they were all, a lot of the stuff I got was like under $10, between $5 and $10, sometimes even under $3. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go back home and film a little haul on my Instagram story highlight because I was just going to pick up a few things. Then as I started picking up more and more and more and more and more and more, I was like, you know what? No, I need to do a whole on video for this Target haul, this unexpected spontaneous Target trip that cost me a lot of money that I wasn't expecting, but I couldn't be happier. So that video will be coming next and I will be doing a full try on haul with you guys. So anyway, back to the foundation. I think obviously I've been wearing a mask. You can see there's like transfer from like the makeup, but this is kind of gross and TMI, but there was a little bit of makeup transfer on there before. Not ideal. You should always wash your mask in between, especially if you're wearing makeup or I usually wear a disposable one, but um, if I'm wearing makeup, but anyway, we let's turn on the light right here so you can really, really see. Oh yeah, there it is. So I do not look super duper oily. I mean, obviously I do have a little bit of oil peeking through. It's not as like bone dry matte as it was before. However, I do not look overly shiny. Like my face still looks good. Granted, we've only been out and about for two hours now. Um, you can see like a tiny bit of shine, but I've been sweating. I'm I'm actually really hot right now. I'm wearing like a jacket on top of like a long sleeve. And I was just like thrilled digging through everything. So the check-in right now, we're about two hours in. I am going to go home, sort through all of this stuff, start reading a book. Anyway, this is the foundation up close different lady you can of course see my texture but i think i look pretty good still so far what do you guys think okay i will see you guys in a little bit many hours later hey everybody so we are about six hours in to the day this is what my makeup looks like i'm at my parents house where i'm about to eat dinner with my dad watching the laker game uh, having a hard cider so let's get you in front of some good lighting. Um, how about like, sure, right in front of the TV. Um, okay, as you can see, I do not actually feel tacky at all. Like my makeup still looks very matte. It feels good. It feels like, I not that I just applied it. I obviously feel like a little bit of oil coming through. You can see I'm a tiny bit shiny, but not bad at all. Like literally not bad at all. I was expecting for what I read online, some people's reviews, it would break apart by now because it is like a dewy, hydrating foundation. That is not the case, and I did set it down, but I didn't use that much setting powder. I didn't use a long-wearing setting powder. Keep in mind, too, I didn't use a primer, and I used a little bit of more of a continuous setting mist. So I am really enjoying this. Like, it is not breaking apart at all. And I was wearing a mask to Target. You can see right here, my foundation still looks really good. I look very smooth. I am very happy with how this is turning out. Hopefully you can hear me. Sorry, the TV is on right now. But I am very, very pleased with how this is performing. And even though I do look a tiny bit shiny, that is not bad at all. Like I have other foundations that tout themselves to be like matte long wearing that look the same as this at this point in the day, you know? So yeah, I will check back in with you. I'm about to eat dinner. I will do one final check-in um, before I go take this off, like when I get back to my house. So yeah, so far I am loving it and I am so pleased. Like, will this be a foundation I reach for on a super hot day? I don't know, probably not, but for this weather and for right now, it looks so good. What do you guys think? Oh, 
Hello everybody, we are eight hours in, eight and a half hours into the day. It is time to take this makeup off. As you can see, um, my lipstick has completely worn off um, because I ate eggplant perm for dinner. So anyway, I honestly give this foundation a big thumbs up. I am pleasantly surprised, especially with you know the whole thing about how I have oily skin and how this is a medium dewy kind of finish. I definitely think that you could build this up to full coverage. Just with two pumps alone, I thought I got pretty good medium coverage. Obviously, like I still, you know, had to cover my blemishes, but I do that with any kind of foundation anyway, just out of principle, pretty much. You can see I'm definitely like a little bit oily. Like if I touch my skin right here, I am tacky, but that's to be expected. And I'm sure, you know, that issue could be ameliorated if I had used like a mattifying primer or primer at all, if I blotted, if I use more setting spray, like those are all factors that are not deal breakers to me and they don't really speak to necessarily the performance of the foundation unless you just solely want to wear the foundation with nothing else on top right like when you apply your makeup foundation is one step of it and yes it's a big step and that's why you know sometimes there are bad foundations out there that can break up on you that can look really terrible and disgusting and just be beyond kind of help at the end of the day and i've definitely tried foundations like that where i just know like oh this isn't for me but looking at my skin up close, I'm sorry, I'm like looking at the mirror right here. Obviously, I look a little bit shiny. My makeup definitely looks a little bit worn. But again, I've been wearing it out and about with a mask for eight hours all day today. I think it looks great. I give this foundation a big thumbs up. The only deterrence is obviously the price point. It is an expensive foundation. I don't know if it's necessarily worth the $50 price tag. I think that's something that has to be proven over time because, you know, it does claim that it's got the science mixed with color. So it's got the skincare benefits. It's supposed to improve the look of your skin over time as you wear this. Who knows how true that will be? But I think in order for me to really adequately assess, like, is this worth $50? I'll have to, you know, really try it out more and see. But off first glance, like in first impression, I think it's a good product. And I definitely don't feel like I wasted my money. I feel like this is a good everyday foundation. Even if you're like me, who has oily skin and you just want something natural, you want, sorry, my arm hurts. You want something natural, you want something buildable, but you still want a good coverage. Like this is not a BB cream, like tinted moisturizer by any means. Like I would not consider it to be on the same wavelength as like the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer by ColourPop or like a CC cream in general. I give this foundation, if we are going like out of five stars, I give this a four out of five. I think this is so nice. I will continue to wear it. I will continue to keep you guys updated and I will try it out with, you know, different factors, different primers. Maybe I'll add another pump. I'll see how it wears like that. But yeah, that's it, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this review, which I hope you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried this foundation, what your thoughts are, did we have similar experiences? And also with that, like, let me know your, like, your skin type and stuff like that because I would love to kind of compare. But yeah, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this wear test full day review kind of vlog-ish style. Um, I am going to shower now because I am tired and I want to go to bed. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.